guys, today I'm back with another lip swatch video. Today it is all about the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Huge fan of anything Maybelline does regarding lips. I love a gloss nowadays, so I was really, really excited to try these out. I'm gonna do a mini review in the beginning, then I will jump into some lip swatches and then tell you my favorite shades at the end. So I'll have timestamps down below if you'd like to skip ahead. If you enjoy lip swatches, drugstore makeup, foundation reviews, or just me, potentially, be sure to subscribe. But let's go ahead and get started. So if you've yet to see these in store, the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, I think they might have launched maybe two months ago, I'm not totally sure. They come in eight different shades, of course they're going to be available wherever Maybelline is sold. Just at a glance and looking at Amazon.ca, uh, they're retailing for $8.96 Canadian. Of course it's going to vary country to country, store to store. Uh, and to my knowledge, they are permanent, but I'm not totally sure. The idea behind these glosses is that they're supposed to be really juicy, enhance your lips, make them look more full, but from what I can tell, they're not actually a plumping gloss they're just supposed to be hydrating and inherently the look of a gloss on your lips is going to make them look bigger that's my preference I don't particularly enjoy plumping glosses I'm happy with my lip plumpness but I do love glosses so it doesn't have any kind of tingly feeling if you were wondering or worried about that or looking forward to it <laughs> either way I would say the scent on them is interesting because it doesn't have the typical Maybelline scent, but it really, like the first time I opened this, I was like, uh, and it completely brought me back to something. I'm not sure if it's an older Maybelline product or another type of lip product, but it definitely smells like something. And it's also hard to describe. It's a little bit sweet, but not like candy or cake or anything like that. I don't find it to like, I can't taste it on my lips. It doesn't seem to be offensive. The, there are a few different formulas, so some of them are a little bit more of a cream formula that have no shimmer in them. Some of them do have shimmer, but as somebody who's not a huge shimmer gloss person, I do find the ones that have it in it. It's not grainy, you can't feel it. I feel like most brands have really upped their game when it comes to shimmer and glosses because I always hated, I never really liked the look of a metallic lip. It always looked a little cheap to me or a little bit unpolished. Uh, some people can pull it off really well, but just for me personally, uh, but they, I feel like a lot of brands have done a great job incorporating shimmer, a more sophisticated shimmer into their gloss, if I do say so. So overall, I will say like, you know, the shimmers may not be my favorite of the bunch, but they're definitely not an abomination either. Like they're nice, but I would still pick a cream finish because that's just my preference. But I will say they're really nice. They do contain hyaluronic acid, which is a very hydrating uh, thing for the lips. So it's not just a gloss. It does kind of have like, quote unquote, I guess, you know, lip skin is skin. So sort of skincare ingredients in there too. I really love the packaging. They're a little bit bigger than you would kind of expect from a gloss in terms of the packaging. It reminds me somewhere in between Fenty and probably KKW Beauty. I've never actually purchased from KKW, but just kind of this nude thing, although it's very popular. I think it looks really sharp. I love the way that it says lifter gloss on it, but it's kind of impressed in it. And I think it looks really expensive and really nice. But, uh, you know, Maybelline has always had nice packaging, but like this looks extra sharp and delightful. But they are kind of big when I think about a gloss, but not a make or break for me. And I do really enjoy these. Overall, I find them easy to wear, easy to throw on. You don't need a mirror. It's not going to last all day, of course, but even when it wears away, I think it looks nice. When it does wear away and you have shimmer, there may be a little bit of shimmer left on your lips. That's another reason I don't love shimmer glosses, but easy to apply. I would say they're not sticky. They're definitely less sticky than they are what am I trying to say? They have a nice amount of thickness to them, which I feel like helps it last on your lips, but it doesn't have sticky stringy. It's not super thick. I personally enjoy a thicker gloss. I know I'm one of the few that enjoys like a MAC lip gloss, but they are nowhere near that, but they're definitely not super thin either. Cause I find with super thin, it just wears off your lips. It's kind of greasy. And in the end, that's not going to end up being hydrating or anything like that. So overall, I really, really love the formula. I think the shade range is beautiful as well. There's some in here that are going to be absolute staples in my life. I don't have any swatch comparisons of the Fenty glosses. I know a lot of people were making that comparison. I would say it has a similar feel to that, but the difference here is that all of the Fenty glosses have some shimmer in them. Some of these don't, which I really love that. So, I mean, I love them both. I still think the original Fenty gloss is perfect. It looks good. It's truly universal, but these are also a great option too. I don't have to choose and I'm not going to. So 
I will, however, do a blog post in the coming times swatching some of the Fenty glosses that I have. Honestly, I just have such a makeup mess right now that I could not, I did not have the capacity to pick through and try and find the glosses to do the comparison. If I'm being totally honest, I'm dropping the ball on that a little bit. But let's go ahead and get into the lip swatches and then I'll tell you about my favorites. Let me know down below which ones you're liking the most, what one is kind of catching your eye. For me, none of them are bad. If I had to choose the two that I'm the least interested, probably no surprise here, but this kind of pearly shade in pearl and then the deeper shade in crystal, they're not my favorite, same as the ones that Fenty had. I will say that the pearl shade, it doesn't have that iridescence in it. There's no kind of pinky purple shift, with I, which I appreciate. I feel like both of these could potentially be nice toppers, but I wouldn't wear them on their own. There's four shades that I really love. I would say, I guess the standout for me is in the shade Amber. No one's going to be surprised. It's the shade I'm wearing right now. It's kind of got this beautiful muted peach. Then a second, very close, something I see myself wearing all the time is the shade Stone. Then I also loved these ones. Silk, so, so those two are completely cream. Silk has like shimmer in it, but barely, like micro, micro, really beautiful and helps add the plumpiness to the lip, so I love that. And then although this has a little bit more shimmer in it, I think it's a really beautiful kind of mauvey pinky shade, which is not something I used to wear all the time, but I've really come to appreciate in the shade Petal. So yes, my favorite shades are four out of the eight. Um, the other two, like this lighter one in ice, I think is nice. Again, could be a topper if you have more fair skin tone, that may be more something you would appreciate. And then this one, I find the shimmer in it to be a little bit too cool toned, almost silvery. Not that you can really tell on the lips, especially from far away, but not my preference in the shade Moon. So, Overall, I really like these. I recommend them. I think they're great. Maybelline almost always hits it out of the park when it comes to lip products. Their shade ranges, the formulation, the prices are all still good. I love the packaging on these especially. So these are a big time home run, if I dare to say it, knowing nothing about sports and definitely don't care about baseball. Sorry. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoy these. I just had to second guess. I was like, is that even baseball? Am I really making a fool out of myself? But yeah, that's baseball. Anyways, I really, really love these. Let me know if you have tried them, if you plan on trying them, what shades are you into? And I do have plans to swatch the new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. I believe that's what they're called. I have them on my desk. I may not, I may swatch them today while my hair is washed, we'll see. But let me know if there's anything else you would like swatched. As always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.